During this video, I'm going to be showing you how we can create a page inside of InstaBuilder and then instantly publish it to our Facebook. So I'm going to be showing you how to create a Facebook app, how to integrate InstaBuilder with your Facebook app, and also how you can let users register on your website using Facebook. Okay, so here we are inside of our dashboard and I went to the settings tab on InstaBuilder and the second option here is Facebook. And as you can see, we need to have a Facebook app so that we can enter our Facebook app ID and our Facebook app secret. And we actually give you a little link here. So you can just click on this link here to create a Facebook app. And that's going to load up a new page for us here where we can create our app. So I'm going to add a new app up here on the right hand corner. Click that green button there. Next, I'm going to choose a website because we are creating this for our website. Next at the top right, I'm going to skip this and just go directly to creating my app ID. So we're going to click on that. We need to give this a name. Call that demo number two. That's optional. I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm going to click on create app ID. And now once that loads at the top here, we have our app ID and our app secret. And this is what we need to enter into our settings on InstaBuilder. So I'm going to copy my app ID here. We're going to go back. We're going to paste the app ID. And then for the app secret, we can click on show. I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to paste that in our app secret. And now what we need to do is we just need to scroll to the bottom and click on save. Now, once that is saved, there are a few more settings that we need to go ahead and implement so that we can directly publish our pages to our Facebook page. So as we can see here, we need to go to our settings, add platform, and then add a page tab. So we're going to go over here. We're going to click on settings. We're going to click on add platform and we're going to add page tab. So we're going to click that and we see they need a name. They need the URL. So we're going to head back over here and we can see that we need to enter our page tab URL into the page tab URL. And then we need to enter our secure page URL into the secure page URL option on our Facebook. So we're going to copy the page tab URL here, copy that, head back over here, page tab URL, we're going to put that. Then we're going to copy the secure one. And then we're going to head over here and paste that into the secure page tab URL. Next, we can see that it says to enable the wide page tab. So we're going to make sure that that is set on yes for the wide page tab. And last but not least, we need to enter our app domain, which is just our main URL here where we have um, our InstaBuilder installed. So I'm going to click, I'm going to highlight my domain name there. I'm going to paste it just like that. We are going to save changes. And just like that, we have our Facebook app linked in and integrated with our InstaBuilder plugin. So now what we can do is we can head over to one of our pages. I have an opt-in page here that I created. So we're going to click on edit here. And I'm going to publish this straight to one of my Facebook pages on one of my tabs. So I'm going to click on the arrow up here, my drop down arrow at the top right. And I'm going to click on publish to Facebook. Next, it's going to ask you which page do you want to publish this to out of your fan pages. So you're going to click this drop down menu and you're going to select your fan page that you want this page published to. So I selected my demo. I'm going to add page tab and it's going to redirect me to Facebook. And as we can see, our page is integrated right inside of our Facebook page. So we have our timeline here and it's all normal. It's just like your basic Facebook. And then they can go to our tab, our demo number two tab, and they have our opt-in just like that. Okay, very, very powerful stuff. And we can actually move this. If I go to manage tabs, I can take demo two and I can kind of put it wherever I want. And then I can click on save. And now we have our demo two up here visible for the users to be able to click on it. We can actually name this whatever we want as well. If I go to add or remove tabs, then I go to my demo two and I click on edit settings. We can actually change this to free report. For example, we're going to save that. We can even add a little image if we wanted to. So we're going to save that, go back to our page. And now we have free report just like that to click on oh, free report. I'm going to click on that. And then they have our opt-in form where we can pitch our free report. So very powerful. Now I do want to point out to be able to use this, you do have to have a domain name that is secure. So you will need the SSL certificate. You can head over here to the Komodo.com and click on their free SSL tab here and get your domain name certified for free. You can see they run a free trial. So you can do that, get your domain name certified, and then just follow these steps that we did follow to integrate our Facebook page with our InstaBuilder plugin. And also what we can do is we can head back over here to our squeeze page and we can also integrate Facebook opt-ins. They can subscribe to our website or sign up through our website using Facebook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on our opt-in box here. I'm going to click on our gear symbol. 
And when our settings appear, you can see that we have the Facebook opt-in. So I'm gonna click on that. And all we have to do is enable it just like that there. And we now have the subscribe with Facebook option. Now, of course, you can change the text. You can show just the Facebook opt-in like that there. You can change the colors, the sizes. If we go ahead and save that, now we have our subscribe with Facebook and users can now sign up with just the click of a button. And that's just how simple it is to integrate our Facebook with our InstaBuilder.